Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. We bring you our show each week from the beautiful Pat Conroy Literary Center in downtown Buford. We've got a great lineup of guests, so stay with us. Welcome everyone to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. We are here at the Pat Conroy Literary Center once again with the Executive Director, Jonathan Hout. Jonathan, great to see you again. Hey, you too, Robin. Love to talk to you every month and every month is so crazy busy with you all. April was amazing. I get to see on social media all of your offerings. April was National Poetry Month, and that's always a big deal for us at the Conroy Center. So we had so many events and partnerships and readings. It was a really fulfilling month for us. And how do you keep track of it all? I mean, because you organize everything, don't you? You and your, I guess, your board and your staff, your team. Sure, Brooke and I work yes. out all of those calendars. It's. <laughs> You know, it's amazing to look at a week ahead and see that there are three or four events right. almost every single week. That's, some that's public, some private with yes. writers groups or book clubs that we work with here in mm -hmm. town, but always something going on at the Conroy Center. So we're talking about uh, a couple of things today. In mm -hmm. particular, we have some online writing workshops. Actually, the dates are May the 25th, May the 27th, and June the 2nd. So you want to share some details about those? Sure, absolutely. We started doing the online workshops about a year ago when the pandemic and the shutdown started with no particular expectations of what would happen to them. And they've become you know, sort of a central part of our lives now at the Conroy Center. And very often, as is the case in a, in a workshop we're hosting tonight on the day that we're filming, our instructor may be here in Beaufort, but our students are from all over the country. And as is the case tonight, from all over the world too. We have international students now. So even as the world is starting to open up again, uh, we're, we're forging ahead with online workshops because there seems to be such demand and appreciation for that. And of those three, would you give us kind of, is there a focus or a theme for each one? Sure, yeah, I can take you quickly through uh, all three. On May 25th, uh, Brooke McKinney, who works with me here at the Conroy Center and I, are teaching a class uh, by popular demand that we've done a couple times. Every time we offer it, it, it reaches capacity, and that'll be the case this time as well. It's about how to turn memories into stories, how to get from having an experience to being able to, to tell a narrative that's meaningful to someone else about that. And it's called The Burning Man versus the Tortoises, which is a fun title. Uh, and those are both uh, stories from Pat Conroy's book, My Reading Life, which is a book I absolutely love. So the first half of that class is me sort of unpacking the way that Pat told these stories. Each one leads to a metaphor about the writing life. And then we use those metaphors and those examples to get our participants writing. It's a free class on May 25th, uh, 7 to 8.30 p.m., so about an hour and a half. Okay. We're doing this in partnership with our statewide writers organization, which is the South Carolina Association of Writers. And we're more or less at capacity right now, but we'll probably have some cancellation. So if people sign up, they'll, they'll probably still be able to get in. All right, and then May 27th and, and then in June. Yes, two days later, Brooke is teaching a flash fiction class, May 27th, 6, uh, 6 to 8 p.m., limited to 15 people, $45 registration fee, and about half full already. And this is for people who get very intimidated about the idea of having to write an entire book or even a, a short story of 1,200 or so words. What about 400 words? What about 40 words? And that's really what flash fiction is about, getting the most out of a, out of a concise Me. word count. And Brooke is spectacular with that class. Then on June 2nd, we've got our new friend, uh, William Keenauer, Bill Keenauer, uh, coming to teach for us virtually again a workshop called Everyone Has What It Takes, which is also the title of Bill's new book published by Writer's Digest. He is the publisher uh, and editor of Author Magazine. So he's a big deal in the writing community, well beyond Buford. He's very kind to offer his time to us in June to teach this class for us. And that's also only $45. I it mean, is. It's really inexpensive. Yes. It's, it's not a lot of money for the amount of content right. that you get. Uh, so we've been really happy to see workshop after workshop sell out when we offer them in this way. And then we have some author visits on June the 1st and June the 9th here That's at the Conroy Center. Right, yes. Uh, so June the 1st, we have our friend Bill Thompson, who was the long-serving book review editor and travel writer for The Post and Courier. Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, when people weren't traveling, he went back and revisited some of his pieces about travel writing, just sort of out of nostalgia. Yeah. And then that became a book called Why Travel? And it okay. came out just, to, just in this moment, the world is opening up again. People Perfect. are beginning to resume traveling. 
So Bill is going to appear in a free Zoom event with two local travel writers from here on Buford, uh, Lynn and Seal Selden, who've been We've guests talked. on, on yes. this show before. Uh, and they're going to talk about what it means to travel and now that the world is opening up, where do people want to go and why. And then on June 9th, we have our first in-person author event here at the new Conroy Center. Okay. This is Susan Cushman, who has a new novel out called John and Mary Margaret, which is about uh, interracial relationships in the Deep South. Really beautiful, poignant novel. And Susan will be here physically in the building with us June 9th, uh, 6 p.m. And uh, people have to sign up for that because we have limited seating, right. of course, in the building, but they can do that up until that it, night. What I love about this new space is you actually have like a little classroom. So she'll be in there, I, aspo I suppose. She will, yeah. yeah. She'll be in our education room, our Dorothea <laughs> Benton Frank education room at the other end of the building. And we have about 45 seconds later, Cap Conroy coming up a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. This summer, we've had students already sign up. There's still room, right? That's right, yeah. So Camp Conroy is June, uh, I'm sorry, July 12th through the 24th. Right. It's for kids ages 8 to 14. And folks can go to our website or our Facebook page to learn more. There are scholarship opportunities yes. as well. And kids who may not otherwise be able to attend the camp have the option of submitting work for those scholarships, which they do every year. And you can be in person or you can be on Zoom. So it's, you said about 20 in person and then maybe 10 via online? That's right, yeah. So the camp is, is both virtual and in person this year. Since last summer, we did it virtually and had right. a great experience. Every year before that, it had been in person. So we thought, let's do it both ways. This I year. think you're going to continue with that format with, with both the hybrid Probably so. because it opens it up to students from other places. Exactly what we're seeing with our adult students as well. People from well beyond Beaufort County want to participate, and this is the way they can do that. So exciting. Thank you, Jonathan. Good to talk to you once again. Thank you, Rava. <laughs> and we'll see you next month. And we will be right back with North of the Broad. Stay with us, everyone.